Chris, would you like to read your personal essay? Okay, Mrs. Donovan. Following Mrs. Donovan by Chris Griffin. The first thing that Mrs. Donovan does when she gets home from school is put on sweatpants. Then she eats a whole tube of cookie dough, but she must be allergic to it because there are tears coming out of her eyes, and she always throws up right after. Then she puts paper doll clothes on a picture of a sonogram. Chris, I think you should stop. What? I'm doing the best I can. I'm not Nathaniel Hawthorne. <laughs> Nathaniel, what are you doing? Just ruining ninth grade for everyone. Mr. and Mrs. Griffin, I called you in today because your son, Chris, has been getting in quite a bit of trouble lately. In fact, just yesterday, he tried to pass this drawing off as his advanced art project. Oh, my. I'm very embarrassed. Well, someone should be. I'm sorry, Principal Shepard. We've tried talking to Chris. We just don't know what else to do. Well, I think we may have a solution. We have these cats that hang around the school, and we feed them. Why doesn't Chris come in, and we can treat him like one of the cats? And in a couple of years, we'll give him a diploma. That doesn't sound like he'll be getting the best education. I don't know, Lois. Some of those cats go on to get pretty good jobs. Yep. We now return to Breaking Bad. You will recommend Breaking Bad to everyone you know. I will recommend Breaking Bad to everyone I know. Breaking Bad is the best show you've ever seen, except maybe The Wire. Breaking Bad is the best show I've ever seen, except maybe The Wire. You will never stop talking about Breaking Bad or The Wire. I will never stop talking about Breaking Bad or The Wire. Peter, I'm really worried about Chris. What are we going to do about him? Let's face it, Lois. The kid's an idiot. What the hell happened to all the smart genes in this family? I mean, I invent the razor blade comb, and my kids are doing nothing. I mean, when Chris grows up, will he even be able to get a job or, or take care of himself? And what's he going to do when we die? Ooga chaka, ooga, ooga, ooga chaka. I can't stop ooga, this ooga, ooga, feeling. Ooga ooga, 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 chaka. I feel awful saying it, but I'm kind of embarrassed by him sometimes. I know, and he's got boobs, too. Stupid guy with boobs. Acting like he doesn't want us to look. He wants us to look. Stop making fun of me! <gasps> I just wanted to listen to you guys have sex, but you were saying mean things about me! Chris! Oh, my God! Uh, no, we weren't talking about you. Yeah, we were talking about Meg. We, we call her Chris so she doesn't know. F you! Shut up, Chris! I know that's not true. <laughs> oh, God. Peter, he heard us call him stupid. His own parents. What have we done? Well, you know, Lois, it's never easy hearing the truth, especially from a fortune cookie. <laughs>